Hi geeks, welcome to my channel. Today we're shopping at Trader Joe's. This week there's a variety of new items that have arrived from a new frozen food dupe to new sweet snacks and also new mini tote bags that have already gone viral and selling out like hotcakes. So let's go check it out. But first let's take a look at plants and flowers. Look how lovely these violets are and they are only $3.99. Also some calendivas for $7.99. Take a look at these succulents that look like brains. They're called lithops for $4.99 which come in four different color planners that are really pretty. There's a blue, cream, purple, and green to choose from not sure how I feel about these but they're really interesting to look at and these are $4.99 some pretty blooms for $9.99 and anthuriums in a summer pot for $12.99 there's also some Lucky Jade for $5.99. Heading straight into the freezer section for our first new item, Papa's Rellenas are crispy mashed potatoes stuffed with seasoned ground beef. For those that live in California, everyone's going crazy because these are Porto's Bakery dupe for the potato balls. So far the reviews have been good, although people say that it could use a little bit more of the ground beef filling. Super easy to make, you can cook it in the air fryer at 350 degrees for five minutes or use the oven, and this is $4.99 a box. The uncured Corn beef brisket is back for St. Patty's Day. No nitrites or nitrates have been added except for the ones in celery powder and salt, which is controversial because that's allegedly a sneaky way to get around to saying nitrates weren't added. This is seasoned with pickling spice and it's $8.49 a pound. For my Irish friends, what do you typically pair this with? Is it steamed potatoes or roasted potatoes? The only thing I can think of is potatoes or making it into a sandwich. Also, this huge smoked salmon caught my eye. This is a Wild Nova style sockeye salmon, and it's 60 calories for two ounces with 12 grams of protein, which is fantastic. Sodium is obviously gonna be high at 540 milligrams since this is smoked. Love that this only has two ingredients and 16 ounces goes for $21.99. The sous vide chicken thighs are back in again in the refrigerated section. These are boneless, skinless chicken and seasoned and fully cooked, so it couldn't be any easier. Just heat and serve. 110 calories for 18 grams of protein, and this is $8.99. And right next to it is the hardwood smoked pulled chicken, which is also fully cooked and seasoned, but this one has white chicken meat. Also, I've seen this at Sam's Club. I'm not sure if they still carry it, but it's about the same price as Trader Joe's, and this is $8.99. And here's another new item, the sliced uncured pepperoni. So Trader Joe's used to carry the brand Volpe, so they might be replacing this with that brand, or they might be carrying both brands, I'm not sure. This one also says the nitrites and nitrates aren't added, but it does have celery powder in it. It, so watch out for that and this is $3.99. The Irish Porter Cheddar Cheese is also back for St. Patty's Day. It has this marbled look to it from the Irish Porter. I heard this cheese is really good but it does have animal rennet in it so this is a no-go for vegetarians and this is $11.99 a pound. Also the mini Brie Bites went back to its original packaging in individually wrapped plastic bags. During the holidays they had them in like plastic cups that kind of look like K-cups but they have switched back since and these are $5.99 a bag for five pieces. And there's a new overnight oats flavor in strawberry and includes strawberry puree. This is also 210 calories like the other overnight oats and this has eight grams of sugar and is $1.99. The French chocolate crepe wafer cookies are also back. These are thin crispy wafers that are rolled in milk chocolate. They sell the exact same item at Costco during the holidays, but I'm so glad that Trader Joe's carries it because I don't need two large containers of it. And this is $2.99 a box. So it looks like a lot of the candies have returned now that it's going to be spring soon. Some stores already have the big bag of jelly beans back as well as the dark chocolate almond eggs. So watch out for those. A lot of people are really excited about the new peas and carrots sour gummy candy. I'm really loving these smaller size bag of goodies. This is exactly what I wanted. I know a lot of people like the bigger bag snacks, but it makes me feel better to not overindulge or waste if I were to buy a bigger bag of stuff that I don't really need. Okay, so for the flavor, I heard they have a citrus type flavor and they are sour. These do contain wheat starch in it, so unfortunately these aren't gluten free, but these would be so cute to put out for Easter or put in a candy charcuterie tray and a bag is only $1.29. Also, just want to show you guys that the Dutch griddle cakes are back in, but it seems like a lot of stores sell out really quickly. They only get in one case a day, so in the morning is probably your best bet if you want them. And if you guys ever want anything before they sell out, you can always call the store up and ask them to hold a box or two for you. And these are $3.49. Okay, now back to more new items. Another small size bag of goodies has come out. The cheery lemon animal crackers are covered in a yogurt candy coating and topped with rainbow sprinkles. This is also 
perfect and on brand for spring and Easter. There's 13 different animals in it, bear, elephant, cat, donkey, goat, tiger, lion, horse, cow, rhino, camel, bison, and hippo. So these might be a crowd pleaser for the littles. I'm hoping they taste exactly like the ones that came out in the Enchanted Jangle mix, which was really good and the animal cracker in it was like really light and crispy. These are 99 cents a bag. When I first started shopping at Trader Joe's, which also fun fact is when I used to work there when I was in college because I always wanted to work at a grocery store, which oddly was on my bucket list to do and try. I used to get these pretzel sticks all the time and dip them in the Trader Joe's almond butter. It's so good. They changed the recipe last year and I think the sticks are a little longer now. And these are $2.49 a bag. The triple ginger pretzels are back and they were today's sample. They tasted a lot better than when I tried it last year. I picked one with a lot of ginger pieces, but most of them basically look like yogurt covered pretzels. And you guys, I was really surprised because this actually didn't taste stale for once, which is a pet peeve I have with all the mini seasonal yogurt pretzels. So I really enjoyed it this time. The ginger flavor isn't overpowering, but you can definitely taste it. And these are $2.99 a bag. Speaking of bag, I saved the best for last. There are new mini canvas tote bags that have arrived in stores. They come in four colors, forest green, yellow, navy blue, and red. They've been selling out really quickly, and I'm not sure if there's a limit to them because I have seen some posts where people have bought eight bags at a time. A lot of people are using this as a lunch bag, or you can put a small laptop or iPad in it, and these are $2.99. So that's it for this week's shopping. Let's get straight into this week's haul. So I really didn't need much from Trader Joe's this week and really only grabbed a few things because I still have a lot of food from last week that I'm still working through. I picked up bananas and a bag of kale which I forgot to show and picked up some tofu. I like to just buy this and have it on hand because when I don't have it, I need it, so I get it just in case. Okay, now jumping into my Costco haul. I used to get pickles from Trader Joe's all the time, but I go through them so quickly, so I just started buying them from Costco. So I usually buy the wild skipjack tuna that comes in a packet from Trader Joe's, but this albacore wild tuna was on sale, and I wanted to see how it compares to the skipjack tuna, which I love because of its texture and its dryness. But what sold me is that this has 33 grams of protein per can and I've been really trying to work on adding in more protein so after filming this I tried it and this tasted almost the same as the skipjack tuna it was very dry and meaty so I'll probably try and go back and pick some more up before the sales over I also got a case of these prime drinks I just took them out of the box and they were on sale so I decided to give it a try because it says that they are hydration drinks and I thought these were electrolyte drinks but they're not they have vitamin E in it and other minerals and made with 10% coconut water it comes in these three flavors lemon lime blue raspberry and tropical punch these were very sweet and tasted literally like popsicles in a drink form so it's not bad per se but they do taste a lot like you're drinking liquid syrup and each bottle is either 20 or 25 calories depending on the flavor also picked up two cases of orgain's protein shakes one in chocolate and one in fruity cereal like i said i've been really trying to work on getting in more protein this year and these have 30 grams of protein in it for 160 calories so on busy days i thought these might be a good option to switch up from my protein bars. And also, I want to try making chia pudding with this and see how that turns out. Also picked up a case of these Joy Burst drinks, which are electrolyte drinks, and they come in three flavors, strawberry, lemonade, peach, and watermelon. What sold me on them was they have lion's mane mushrooms in it, so I decided to give it a try for a little extra boost for my immunity. Plus, these were also on sale. These are zero calories, and unfortunately, I just realized they have sucralose in it, so I probably won't get them again, but I will probably take these when I go to yoga. And I also picked up poppy drinks because they were on sale. This variety pack also has three flavors in it, strawberry lemonade, orange, and cherry limeade. All of them are 25 calories each, but there's no artificial sweeteners in this and have five grams of sugar or less in them. I usually pick up salmon from Trader Joe's also, but this seemed like a much better deal for a whole lot more. Plus these were farm raised in Norway, which is supposed to have higher standards of farm fishing, which is the same as Trader Joe's salmon. So I decided to give it a try. These were a little bit more dry, but it's also a different cut. I get the barbecue filet cuts from Trader Joe's, and Costco also carried them as well, but they cost almost double the amount, so I decided to give this a try instead. I paired it with some roasted Murasaki sweet potatoes and drizzled tahini over one half and peanut butter over the other, and also I had some roasted cauliflower with green goddess dressing as well as some roasted broccoli. 
Also picked up some uncured beef junior franks, which are a new item at Costco. I really like this brand because they only have grass-fed beef and that's pretty much it except for a little bit of seasoning. And I'm really happy they came out with this because sometimes I just want a little hot dog, but I don't want a full hot dog. So these are the perfect size for me when I have a hankering. And I still have puff pastry sheets in my freezer from the holidays, which I haven't done anything with. So maybe I can make pigs in a blanket if I'm feeling ambitious. And Scrub Daddy was also on sale. I'm super excited to give these a try. I've heard such good things about them. They stay firm in cold water and soften up in warm water and they won't scratch surfaces. So we will see how that turns out. And then from Sam's Club, I got a bag of asparagus because they have the best price there and also a head of cauliflower, which I like to roast up and have throughout the week. And then back to Trader Joe's real quick, I picked up this pizza crust, which I'll be trying for the first time. So I'm really excited because I've heard a lot of good things about it. And that's how I'll probably be breaking my Whole30, which ended up really only being Whole14, which I'm okay with. And I picked up a bag of my favorite Envy apples. They're so sweet and crunchy. Highly recommend giving these a try and a big bag of carrots because I've been juicing here and there since I've been sick and the rest I can just snack on or roast up. Okay, that's it for this week. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give this a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And until the next video, ciao guys.